All right, hello, Minecrafters and Protectors and people who like to feed the beast. So today, let's blow some things up. Let's go with the implosion compressor. Yes, I'm gonna blow some things up. Ah, yes. So the implosion compressor, a fun little number, uh, shows up around the time you're getting close to mid game. Um, maybe a little bit before then. Uh, this will is this is actually what will open space explorers for you. So if you're really, really, really excited about getting into space, uh, you definitely want to get yourself to the silicon age and get yourself an uh, implosion compressor. So uh, I did one recently about the vacuum freezer. This one's very similar in many respects. I mean, it just. Except it does need a muffler hatch on top. Uh, LED is probably all you need. I don't think you're going to be blowing up that much stuff. Maybe when you go to build a rocket or whatever. Um, I'm actually, that's funny, I'm actually using these single use acid batteries. It doesn't take an awful lot of power. Um, we're going to see what it's going to take here. So I've got, I put my input materials in here. Um, I'm not going to go over too much about the construction as such. I mean, the solid steel machine casing is pretty simple to make. You know, use your assembler, use your stuff to you know put it together in the most efficient way possible and then you slap it all together I believe the book um, tells you to make 16 of these and I believe you actually need an extra four um, you do need an extra four uh, of these so you will have to make actually 20 instead of 16 to finish the outer casing uh, let me go get my TNT. Now, dynamite is one of those things I'm super paranoid about. I have had an accident with them before, so dynamite now stays out here, <laughs> unless I actually am ready to use it. TNT, dynamite, I tend to store it outside, <laughs> and it's probably not a bad idea. Um, so let's let's get to blasting. So you put your material in there. Um, your first best thing to do is to look up the recipe because you definitely don't want to screw this up because uh, you're going to waste your materials. I mean, we're not too worried about iron. And there apparently is some kind of a galactic core compressor. Uh, I might have to look into that. Because that, frankly, would be better than using this thing. I think they probably disabled this guy and make you use the implosion compressor. Uh, that said, you can use powder barrels. You can use TNT. You can use this kind of dynamite. You can use your powder barrels. Um, you can use a single TNT. Uh, definitely go for the try not true toluene. It's the most efficient way to do this. You can use the industrial TNT, but that's kind of a waste. And you'll see it just takes 600 EU. Um, this is probably the most one of the more expensive things, other than the ITNT. Um, the dynamite. You're wasting a lot of glycerin to make that. You're better off to just use the, to get the toluene. It's pretty simple to make. Uh, let's drop this guy in there and see what happens. This is probably the scariest machine to use because there's nothing worse to hear in this game other than, exp than an explosion. Be it from a creeper, be it from one of your machines going off. Let's drop it in. I think I'll need a hammer. hammer, hammer. <clears throat> this one might have to keep a hammer handy. Turn it on. And prepare to get scared. I sit for a minute. Did I not do this right? Oh, of course. Iron plates, not ingots. Yes, that's another thing. Check your recipe. And I didn't really pay attention to it, did I? Yes, you do need iron plates first. I'll just grab it when it hits eight, because I only have enough to do uh, four of these. Drop it in. Whoa! That scares the hell out of me. <laughs> yes, sir. You'll hear the explosions. Um, it is uh, normally the worst sound you can hear, but in this case, it's music to your ears because it's uh, you know you're wanting to do this. Um, I, I, uh, you, you're probably gonna have a lot of sulfuric acid. You can use something like these small acid batteries to run this. It only needs LV, um, input bus, output bus, 
Um, you do need to worry though about this running. If, if you produce too much stuff in here, it will probably start overwriting like the other machines do. Um, so if you, you can swap that out for a medium voltage output bus if you want to make sure that you uh, keep things, uh, you know, just so that you have enough head space. The other option, of course, is to do like I did with the blast furnace. You just simply run a, uh, I'm burning all this stuff here. You just simply put a conveyor belt and a chest in front of it. So uh, other than that, not too much to suggest with this. There's a lot of interesting stuff you can make with it. Um, it's, this is the way to crust dust back into crystals. Uh, I'm going to go over to my crystal thing over here. I actually don't have a whole lot of TNT. I mean, I thought I had more, but I think I took it out and played with it in the field and blew up some stuff. So I uh, do need to make some more. But you could say I will crush some of this garnet back into actual, you know, or I'm sorry, you could crush some of this jasper dust back into a jasper. Um, you need certain amounts of it to do. Um, this is a great way for making eye diamonds, for example. The industrial diamond. Um, you can actually use one chunk, coal chunk, with your TNT, but you're probably going to get a lot of diamond dust. If you're using your sifter, and you definitely should use the sifter, the sifter is a wonderful device that will produce tons and tons of gem of various types of gems. Um, what you can do is you will get, uh, when, you, when you finally find diamond, definitely grind them up, or grind them into the you know, grind them up, wash them, and then put them through the sifter. So, or I should say, macerate the ore. Put the, uh, you know, then then you got to wash it, and then you got to put it through the sifter sifting machine here, and then you'll get lots and lots. You'll probably get a lot of diamond dust, but you can take that diamond dust, and using your implosion compressor, and it does take a little. It does take a lot of TNT. Even the industrial TNT, it takes eight of these, so it's a bit of a pricey thing to do. But you'll get three of these diamond, of industrial diamonds, and <clears throat> as you know, with uh, you can always turn them into normal diamond. But once you've done that, you can't turn them back. You have to go make new industrial diamond. It will take sixteen TNT. Um, eventually, you're going to be swimming in toluene. Um, toluene is kind of a pain to get until you get the uh, the better distillation, the, the really the big giant distillation apparatus. So I'll probably be building that before long and doing a video on that one as well. And uh, that will give you enough toluene to make tons and tons and tons of TNT for, the, uh, for this guy. Um, so TNT is probably the best thing to use for it. Uh, regular stick dynamite seems a little bit wasteful. So that's about the only advice I've got on this. So anyway, uh, happy blasting and thank you for watching.